Jet, a, a lot of our view, my viewers won't know uh, the different parts of a battery. So maybe yep. just explain cathodes and anodes. It's uh, you know, my parents ask me this all the time, and, uh, and 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 I tell them, you know, you pick up your Duracell battery or your Energizer, right? And it's got a pointy side and a flat side, right? Um, the pointy side's the plus side, uh, the flat side's the the minus side, um, and and each of those sides has a very specific material. Um, that does the heavy lifting inside of the battery. The plus side is the cathode side, and that's the side that we work with. Right, and so the uh, when it's discharged, basically the electrons go from one from the anode to the cathode, or cathode to the anode. Uh, yeah, when it's when it's discharged, you go minus. It's sort of counterintuitive. You go minus to plus, right? Um, move the electrons and the ions. Yeah. Great, and so you've invented a way to get graphene on the the cathode. What are the benefits of that? Yeah, so um, everything in batteries really is about interfaces, right? Um, it, it's about one thing that touches another thing, and, and you move materials back and forth. Um, so uh, the electrolyte, which is the liquid component, right, of the battery, uh, a, a really um, caustic kind of environment for these particles to live in. Um, so the first thing that we do is we provide a level of protection, right, by by coating the surface of this material, which which mitigates. Um, exposure of the cathode active material to the electrolytic environment, right? And the second thing that we do, uh, graphene, super conductive, right? Very highly electronically conductive. Um, so uh, there are a bunch of benefits that come from the high level of conductivity associated with that, which includes things like uh, better power out of the battery.